As far as uh, technology goes, the uh, big story of last year and this year and probably next year as well is this uh, set of upgrades that we we used to call Ethereum 2.0, but now we actually call it Ethereum 2.0 a bit less because we want to emphasize that, you know, this isn't throwing out the uh, existing Ethereum platform and making it a totally new one. It's a much more uh, kind of incremental set of changes. But it, this uh, kind of bundle of uh, upgrades has two big parts. One is called a proof of stake. Uh, so this is a consensus algorithm. So it's uh, the way that the blockchain agrees on what new transactions uh, people send in what order and protects the blockchain against the tax. So right now, Ethereum uses proof of work. Um, and proof of work is the first big um, way that anyone figured out to make something like a blockchain decentralized and it was this genius invention right but at the same time you know there's there's issues with proof of work like uh, for example you know yesterday yeah elon or elon musk uh, you know stopped accepting bitcoin because he was just concerned about the environmental issues and like proof of stake is one of uh, is actually a solution to that among many other things right it just requires far less resources to maintain uh, so that's one side, right? The second side is uh, scalability. Uh, so one of the big problems with blockchains is that because of how decentralized they are and because of how they rely on just the large numbers of computers in the network uh, verifying everything, it's difficult to get them to process a huge number of transactions, right? Like if you look at centralized systems, you know, whether Visa, PayPal, WeChat, like any of them, right? Like they can process tens or hundreds of thousands of transactions a second, but they can only do this because they have, you know, either one node or a very small number of nodes, like they're, they're, they're centralized systems. And this does have the advantage of the, that they're cheaper, um, but blockchains, they yeah, have many thousands of computers participating and so they do have like they have a very hard time getting up to that level right so the ethereum network today for example can only process about 20 transactions a second and we have a series of uh kind of upgrades so the big one is called sharding there's also a technology called rollups that's happening around the same time and it's probably going to be here even sooner and each one of those independently increases the scalability by a factor of about like 50 to 100, right? Yeah, uh, Xiao 一个比较大的就是一开始我没有特别了解的事情的现在我更我更了解还有一个还有一个事情就是呃是一个做一个很做一个很复杂的事情就会需要很多时间呃就比如我
一开始我觉得我们可能会呃呃可能会呃三个月之内做呃做呃做一个区块链，就是我们可以呃。一月份开始，呃，四，呃，四，呃，四月份做，呃，做好吧。我们有一个新，一个新的链。但是，是我们发现做，呃，以太坊的第一版本，我，呃，我，呃，需要十八，十八个月，所以，呃，也需要很多的时间。然后，我每年一开始觉得做一个 proof of stake 会需要一年，但是其实需要六年。I think recently, like especially with just the rise, the kind of rapid rise of like everything crypto this last bubble, like I've I've definitely been feeling more of this kind of sense of responsibility that, like, you know, this thing that we're building isn't just a game anymore. Like it's actually a you know it's a significant part of the new era, and that's something that you know it's not just crypto people saying like even. You know, respected、uh, kind of public intellectuals. I mean, economists like Tyler Cohen has recently、um, said a lot of things to that effect.、Um, he even had this big article, kind of just talking about cryptocurrencies and the、uh, charter cities as kind of like two big pro freedom ideas that he's interested in.、Um, and so, like, just realizing that like there is this.、Uh, Yeah, it's it's not a game. It's it is this、uh, big big part of、uh, the new world, and so like there's just there is an opportunity and therefore a、yeah, responsibility to kind of take this opportunity and actually use it to turn into something that provides a lot of positive value for people、um, and doesn't、um, you know just turn into a missed opportunity. And like just the question that I ask is like basically you know how do we do that like. You know how can we? What things can we do to how actually work together and、uh, to make sure that crypto actually can be、uh, something that、uh, you know, really does、um, all that it can to improve people's lives.